In a couple of other videos, we already introduced PyAutoCAD, which is a module in Python for uh, developing scripts that can be used for AutoCAD optimization. Um, we had a couple of uh, introductionary posts. Um, you can find all the documentation on our blog, but also here on YouTube. Um, if you click the link in the video description, that will take you to this coding example, but also to our PyAutoCAD documentation that we are continuously expanding on our blog. Um, in this video, I, I want to introduce polar arrays. In the previous video, I introduced uh, rectangular arrays. Um, so let's get started uh, with this example. And as I said, you can find this coding example um, by clicking the link in the video description. Then you can also um, adjust the code and see um, how it affects your drawing. Um, to execute this uh, example, I will need um, to import uh, relevant um, classes and methods from PyAutoCAD. I need AutoCAD A point and AA double. Um, and I start by, as always, creating an empty AutoCAD template. And then I uh, here add a circle. So by now we have an empty template with a circle um, added to it. Um, the circle, uh, when calling this method, um, it needs the center point of the circle, which is 100, 100. Uh, so x equals 100, y equals 100. And then it needs a, a radius. So this is the radius of the circle. And we can see we successfully uh, added the circle to our uh, AutoCAD drawing. Now we want to create a polar array. And in order to create a, a polar array, um, we use uh, the circle and we call uh, the method um, array polar. Um, there are a couple of parameters that we need uh, to specify. We need to say how many objects or how many circles do we want to create in this uh, polar array. So those are like clones of the object that we're calling the method on. And then we have the angel to fill. So do we want to have like uh, an entire circle uh, uh, added? Uh, so uh, 360 degrees. Uh, or do we, for example, just want half a, a rotation that being added with um, these clones and, 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 and with these number of objects that are like clones? Um, or, or what is the angel uh, of fill, uh, angel to fill. And then we need to specify the center point of the polar array. So let's look at the, an example here. Um, this, the center point of the polar array needs to specify it as a, a, um, as a um, double array. Uh, this can be done with the uh, method from, um, or the, the constructor from, from uh, pi out to get a double. So this would create a, a array of uh, coordinate points. In this case, we just need uh, one as coordinate set that we use for creating this um, double array that we pass on as a parameter for the center point of the array. So this is where the center point of this um, array is. And um, how many clones do we want to have in this polar array? We want to have 10 in this example. Um, and the angel to fill is uh, 180 degrees. Now we need to specify this in radians. So this is why it's time uh, times pi. And we're calling this on the object that we want to like clone in this polar area, which is in this case, the circle one, um, which is the object that we created up here in the circle we have to draw. So when you execute this, we get this um, polar uh, array um, with, as you can see, 10 uh, circles added to it. And the um, angel to fill is a uh, half a, like half a circle, so 180 degrees. And um, yeah, that, that completes this simple uh, example. If you want, you can click the link in the video description and you can um, access this uh, coding example. And um, then you could, for example, try to adjust some of the parameter values to see what, what happens.